first set is history. Patrick and John, 6-4 over Chang and Sampras. Well, you can tell who's, who feels who has the better serve because Sampras had been serving on the other side. So Michael's saying, go ahead, serve him up, baby. <laughs> I like the way you hit it. Michael hugs that sideline more than most players. You're at the net. Patrick would like to have that back. It was last March that Pete Sampras made a splash for himself down at the $700,000 tournament Grand Champions at Indian Wells. Sampras thought he had it. <laughs> Yours. Look at Michael. Michael was there for that ball. Boy, he is one fast dude. Now, now, keep your eye on Michael. This is a good return. It's a leg cord. But watch how Michael reads the shot. Look at it. He's already on the move. Goodness gracious. That is class. Very intelligent. Well, that's a sixth sense. Gotta love that. That'll hold you in great stead. No so, fault. Michael, there's a, a player. I won't tell you his name, but I'll let you guess. But there's a player who scored the worst in hand-eye coordination and was a Wimbledon winner, but scored the best in anticipation. It only shows you that if you're a great anticipator, even though you don't maybe don't have the hand-eye coordination, you can pick up a lot of milliseconds knowing having that sixth sense where the ball's going to go. Take the shortcut getting across the net. Did you see how? <laughs> oh, that's cute. McEnroe providing comic relief here as he delivers the point. Can't catch up with it. And then whoops and tip seat four, even though they didn't have a good first serve percentage. Patrick McEnroe serving. Well, Patrick has been wild on that first serve. Got to come back to the remark you were making earlier about hand-eye coordination of Wimbledon winner. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't know the answer. I'll take a guess. Jimmy Connors. I'm not. Oh, you think I'm going to tell you on. Well, then why did you even bring it up? <laughs> I thought we had a good story going there. Not allowed to give out that data. But a Wimbledon winner. What year? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> my intellectual functioning levels are a little higher than that, Michael. <laughs> Let's get back and see if we can get Patrick McEnroe a serve here. 1530. Well, when that ball's going long, it's usually a good indicator that you're not, or a good indication that you're not far enough out in front. John was the most surprised guy to see that overhead coming right back at him. Patrick. Smart play. You go at the right hip of a 
right-handed player and the left hip of a left-handed player. It's just hard for them to hit a backhand or a forehand. Zapras and Chang a point away from a service break here, taking a two-love lead in the second. They lost the first 6-4. Well, hang in there, folks. Zapras and Chang. They don't want to go home. And Chang will be serving. Let's see what Mac does to the service return. Because he'll be playing this guy in singles a lot. So it gives him a good chance to take a look. whether Patrick should have been poaching on that. Well, that's where you don't, if you don't make signals, uh, Patrick says, I think I can make it. But actually, Michael hit a very good shot. Patrick was one step behind. Got to take everything you feel that you can get. I think Patrick has fast first step. Look at that play by Michael. Almost on his knees. Yesterday, uh, when we were doing the show, if you saw it, our cameraman did a shot on the footwork of Michael Chang, our camera people. We have some unbelievable shots showing what the feet go through. There's somebody who puts it through, and you have a tendency to think the shoe just stays very nice, and, but the shoe takes a tremendous beating. Mac plays that well. Gets down classic style, get down low. I know some, uh, speaking of shoes, some basketball players who go through a pair of basketball shoes once every two weeks. Well, I got news for you. Jimmy Connors has 365 pair of Converse shoes a year. Plays a new pair of shoes every day. Nice play. Great point. At that point where Sam it, it's the highest point of the net, three feet six. Well, that's a nice play. Good hands. An ace by Michael Chang. So Chang and Sampras, nothing to it in this second set. A three-love lead over Patrick and John McEnroe. <laughs>